Welcome back to Rick's Reflections, where we take a look at the upcoming Sunday Gospel reading and see how it applies to our lives today. Well, this Sunday is the solemnity of the most holy blood and body of Christ. We're going to hear the Gospel reading where the disciples are preparing for the Passover meal and they're asking Jesus, where do you want to do this? And Jesus gives them very specific instructions about meeting a man who's carrying a jar of water, going to show him to an upper room, and that's where they're going to hold it. And of course, the disciples find exactly that. And then it goes on to say, when Jesus gave the bread and gave the wine, he said that this is my body and this is my blood. You know, I saw some uh, research not that long ago that stated 70% of Catholics that were surveyed do not believe that the true presence is in the bread and the wine at Mass. Once it is consecrated, 70% do not believe it. And that breaks my heart. You know, I know we get um, encouraged when we see Eucharistic miracles, right? Maybe you've seen some. If you haven't, just go ahead and YouTube that. Eucharistic miracles. You'll be amazed. These moments where we get to see definitively that there are miraculous things happening during the consecration of the host. But here's the thing for me. I used to think I needed to see something like that. In fact, I remember praying about that. Lord, let me just see blood coming from the Eucharist and then everybody will know and I'll be amazed and I'll, I'll know forever, I'll know for sure. But as I continue to find out through other ways in my life that the Lord tells me things and shows me things, I no longer need miraculous signs. I just need to do what he asked. And when Jesus says, this is my body and this is my blood, I believe it with all that I am. Not because I saw a miracle happen, which is great if you do, but I believe it because my daddy said so, right? My father in heaven said so. So every time I approach on Sunday or daily to receive the Eucharist, I wholeheartedly say the word, amen so be it. I believe exactly that because my Father said so. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next time on Rick's Reflections. Yeah.